So if you're a theologian, amateur professional, I'm just revealing the source of the New Testament and by coincidence the Jehovah's Witness window cleaner has come in his little blue car to the other side of the road everybody is beginning to approach me everybody now understands that what they sell on a Sunday is a human scam to make money for the Cardinal the Archbishop the uh, lay preacher for the Lothians or the big grand council in New York everybody believes they were born into the one true God and every messianic that's human figurehead messianic the messianic figureheads think that they are stronger than the gods that created the universe I know that is not the case and many many people now are becoming aware of the acts of God I don't know what happened to God in the 20th century but the gods are alive and well their elements having been misrepresented by humans for millennia <laughs> are absolutely riddled with the way that the world has been run and indignation at that uh, and these are very very brave people that's the publishing address it's like the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, in America but on the west coast of America near the weapons plant at Missoula on the river that was portrayed in a river runs through it all of it is a sick joke about humans dominating and threatening the entire globe with their brutality you've got two scholars with a chalkboard who talk about the Jewish nation because of the abuses to it in the past where all the massive culls and genocides have occurred if they rise their, raise their head up and try and proclaim what is happening even the Old Testament is a fake I've shown you that the Garden of Eden is the Garden of Aden which is now the Yemen and Noam Chomsky who's bailed out of communications with me since he joined Ariana Huffington the millionaire uh, as one of the best paid socialists on the globe he has revealed all of the brutality in the Yemen uh, for several decades he did not reveal the religious fraud Jim Fetzer choked on his microphone when we started to talk about the things that these two old men one of them is in it for the exposure and for the publication rights of the books but this one here understands entirely how the world has been run for 2000 years and the window cleaners from the Jehovah's <laughs> are beginning to learn the secrets but they are getting ever so aggressive on the street corners one of them who told me he was a victim of epilepsy the other day he's become aware of my theory but he tried to scam me into believing that there was a dragon in the lake at Moor Battle uh, and they are very very unaware of the peril that they are placing themselves in the people at the Church of Scotland look ever so nervous when they pass me on the streets having demonized Islam on Remembrance Sunday I need you to look up uh, Abelard Reuchlin that's R-E-U-C-H-L-I-N and when you find him you'll find New Testament Bible authored by the Calpurnius Pisos of Rome part 1 of 5 if you open that up on your computer all five episodes will play within about 30 to 40 minutes and you will then understand that the whole world has been sold for the salvation of billions of souls and their slaughter as human beings throughout human history 
it is a master plan only the current elites thrive in the system every one of the loyal worshippers are robbed of their collections they are taken into the papacy into the Rothschilds run banking systems and that has now enslaved the entire globe and the politicians who are paid for their sins have not got the courage to reveal this information as Jim Fetzer bailed out the other night they know that when this comes out that the world can be decent prosperous and honest and that the gods of the universe will get the acclamation of what they have the beautiful creation that we have despoiled over the millennia okay I'm gonna listen to it again because every time you listen you realize that even the word furious the revival in popular fashion of the parka coat with the fur on the collar the killers using that the people in the Roman armies using the fur on the collar all of it is a sad joke and it links in to Calpurnius Piso with the word par in the middle of the name it is so pathetic and the first two letters of the Piso name are Pi and then you get the links to Elizabeth Taylor the life of Pi and all of those sad Zionist Hollywood jokes Elizabeth Taylor was very high up the Zionist food chain as it happens uh, and it is really really sad that Greg Hallett gets killed for revealing what happens in the bed chambers of the monarchy and this man who was trading his PDFs for only seventeen dollars for the most insightful text in the whole world take my word for it I'm a professor of neuroscience when you understand the simplicity of the ownership of the world and how it is done by psychologists who have done it for 2,070 odd years it is stunningly triumphant I am gonna bring it down step by step unless the gods take a hand <laughs> uh, and it is you can see the jokes Scrib, Scribd is a famous website that reveals the role of the Israeli, Israeli Prime Minister Shimon Peres and his family laundering art treasures into the free world after two massive world wars invented by the creators of this system Scribonia anus yet yeah, it is all a joke the scribbling is up your arse and all of these things are tied in to ancient Roman characters who are real like the Herod that is portrayed as the villain in the Bible Jews and Romans come together in the elite sector all of them are kings queens and have massive estates uh, and it then begins to consume the whole of the pagan world if you look up the videos that we have made on uh, on the El Nino icon for the baby Jesus the trading of that for gold silver pearls globally or just the massacre of the indigenous people that own those assets this guy has the courage to declare it his company has since been replaced in that postcode there 56 52 D Kent W A nine eight oh six nine seventeen dollars for the story of how to own the world by religious mind control they've been taken down and when you go to that postcode now it's been replaced by T Mobile the T is the joke about the Christian cross and the invention of the Rolling Stones in the 1960s is about the resurrection and the rolling away of that stone all of the jokes are sickening all of them are laughed at by trainees in the church yet 
I don't know how far down the food chain and whether or not a Church of Scotland vicar gets this, but they do know it in all the elite history departments in the elite universities that are now stealing from their children globally and Coldplay sing the words in their song that proclaim that they got first class degrees in ancient history at UCL when they declare that for some reason they cannot explain they know St Peter will not call their name at the pearly gates uh, and they are tied into marriages that take them into the Lord of the Rings film and the perpetration about jokes about characters in that who are actually fascists and members of this team Frodo is the French Bishop Odo who was in charge of England round about the time that the Doomsday Book was written that's French Odo is Frodo in the Lord of the Rings Bilbo is a Ku Klux Klan racist senator who strings up blacks during the period where the blacks were no longer needed they had already had a massive revolution to get rid of the slavery issues and to replace them with the tractor and the internal combustion engine all of it is led by billionaires and millionaires and world leaders kings and queens and it never ends until you guys wake up and I know that Jehovah's are much more scholarly than most of the other religious followers in the world but they just spout back what is written in New York this lot have been taken down and replaced by the f false icon of the Christian cross which is the T-Mobile company. I used to get my hair cut in a street in Dunedin where the Vice Chancellor at my university, who's now a Knight of the British Realm, <laughs> that's Sir David Skegg, who has dropped out of my mailing list for reputational reasons. Uh, he has asset stripped the funding of most of the departments in his university to achieve the knighthood. Uh, they are turning their heads to the impoverishment of all students globally and they let scams like this run despite their knowledge of it and their massive intelligence which gives them the capacity to steal from their people and their parishioners no matter what denomination you're in and I've explained how the Jewish nation was chosen by the Rothschilds so that they could deploy the anti-Semitic tool that these folks talk about and the lack of courage to actually stand up and reveal the truth about how humans have taken the piss out of gods for all of human existence and how now the human extinction threat is entirely in the hands of those super corrupted elites Jesuit popes <laughs> leaders of the Church of Scotland all of them the Church of Scotland and the Church of England were created by the only king that had been in existence that united those two nations they wrote a different bible north and south of the bloody referendum border just so that the money stream and the mind control and the sectarian violence all across their jurisdiction continues for centuries. I'm going to sign off there. You need to look at it. And Jehovah's, you need to have a conscience about your puppet role in life because you are very intelligent people and you know the truth about the universe. But you still insert, despite your adherence to Jehovah and the one true God, you still inst insert the Christian fake up in loads of your little fairy stories every Sunday I'm hoping to get a warm welcome from all denom denominations this Sunday because they are learning about the power of the acts of God and it is very sad that they have to be bullied into compliance with knowledge of the creators of the universe we're not supposed to know the fine details 
That's why we're the God. We're the mortals, and they are the gods. Okay, <laughs> you need to watch these videos, and then you will understand how the world is run and why Jim Fetzer, the freedom fighter who's prepared to reveal the total illegitimacy of the British crown for 160 years, shat himself when the magnitude of the fraud and the revelations that is known by everyone in the Fox and BBC news empires including Sally Magnuson who presents the hymns on a Sunday night for the BBC and pretends that she was defrauded of her pension fund by the Islandic bankers it's the same team they run your mind and they run your religion by mind control Bye for now. I'm not sure whether or not the window cleaner is going to make a random call on me, but he is a nice guy like all of the parishioners I know. All of them are nice guys until the Church of Scotland demonised Islam on Remembrance Sunday. I denounced that on the day as I shook the lay preacher's hand and they have become ever so pale and nervous looking when I pass them on the streets. That is the power of God and I know that it is very real. So please be God fearing in the future but please think for yourselves and listen to the outlandish evidence that has created the corrupted and violent ownership of the world since humans were able to clothe themselves and light a fire. <laughs>